Welcome to the Genera Center for Reproductive Medicine in Rome. This video you're about to see features Dr. Filippo Maria Obaldi, the gynecologist and clinical director, and Dr. Laura Rienzi, the biologist and laboratory director. And they will accompany you through a complete ICSI IVF cycle. The first part illustrates the preparation of the operating theater and the ovum pickup. Then you'll be taken into the lab where the embryos are created. And to conclude, you'll see the embryo transfer. We now start with the operating theater preparation for the oocyte pickup. This is the sterile table with all necessary materials and equipment for the procedure. The ultrasound probe gets covered with a sterile disposable probe cover. As you can see, the top of the probe is carefully arranged and all air bubbles are removed. The needle guide is then positioned on the top of the ultrasound probe and is then fixed to the ultrasound probe with sterile sterile strips. Everything is sterile and pre-warmed on spatial tables where the temperature is calculated to be at 37 degrees. Here you can see the tubes for follicular fluid collection which are also warmed at 37 degrees before the procedure. The operating theater is completely dedicated to IVF. The air atmosphere has to be controlled and a specific cleaning procedure is performed which is not toxic for cells. In this moment I'm putting the speculum into the vagina and then I'm gently rinsing the vagina with a sterile solution. The needle is inserted into the needle guide. The follicles are visualized, then the aspiration procedure is started. Here you can see an ovary with uh, several follicles. When the right position is reached, the needle is inserted inside the follicle and uh, the follicular fluid is then gently aspirated. The fluid will go through the needle and the tube directly into the collection tube. When the follicular fluid is uh, collected, a gentle curettage of the follicular wall is performed in order to increase the chance to retrieve the oocyte. As you can see through the tube, the follicular fluid is aspirated. These are the tubes where the follicular fluid is collected. It is completely sterile, held by the nurse until it is filled up and then this tube is brought to the lab. Between one ovary and the other, the needle is rinsed by aspirating culture media. The follicular fluid is moved into the lab where the embryologist searches for cumulus corona cell complexes. Once in the lab, the follicular fluid is visualized at the sterile microscope. When a cumulus corona cell complex is found by the embryologist, 
The pastar pipette is used to wash the complex and move it in culture media. Here you can see from the sterile microscope cumulus corona complex of two oocytes which are collected and another one which is found, a third oocyte. Just before microinjection, the oocyte will be denuded, which means that the cumulus corona cell complex will be exposed to an enzyme, the yellow radase, and then mechanically manipulated. This we aim to remove all the cells surrounding the oocyte. Here you can see oocytes surrounded by the cumulus corona cells, and in this moment they are exposed to the enzyme, not longer than 30 seconds. And a mechanical aspiration is performed of the complexes. After 30 seconds, each oocyte is moved in a second drop of clean culture media where they are mechanically denuded. As you can see, slowly all the somatic cells surrounding the oocyte are removed and clean oocyte can be assessed. After denudation, the maturation stage of the oocyte can be assessed by morphological observation. Denudation procedure is necessary to perform intracytoplasmic sperm injection to be able to inject a spermatozoa inside the oocyte cytoplasm. Two micropipettes are used for ICSI, a holding and an injection pipette to be able to catch a single sperm and directly inject it in the oocyte cytoplasm, which is happening in this moment. This procedure must be performed very carefully with special intention not to damage the oocyte. We have to say that human oocytes are very resistant to this procedure. The sperm is released in the center of the oocyte inside the cytoplasm. From this moment on, the oocyte will be incubated. Different types of incubation are available in our laboratory. Here you can see an automatic system where the oocyte and the embryos can be visualized in a remote control way without having to take them out from the incubator. This is time lapse. Here you can see an embryo developing until blastocyst stage. Selected embryos that have been grown in the lab are selected for transfer. This is the operating theater which has been prepared for the embryo transfer procedure. The first step of the procedure is to carefully clean the vagina and the cervix. So the cleaning of the cervix is performed with special attention with uh, culture media. Then the catheter is uh, bent on its terminal part to better negotiate the cervix. The catheter then will enter the uterine cavity through the cervix without the presence of the embryo. Only once the outer part of the catheter is correctly positioned the inner part is brought in the laboratory and the embryos are loaded on the tip of the catheter. Here we are in the lab where the catheter is first rinsed several times to be completely cleaned. Culture media is then loaded inside the catheter and on the very bottom of the catheter, the selected embryo or the selected embryos are loaded. A very small amount of media will be released in the uterus together with the embryo. As you can see, the catheter is protected in such way 
so that it doesn't touch anything before the transfer. The embryologist is uh, then bringing the inner part of the catheter, which is inserted inside the outer part. The catheter is then positioned into the uterine cavity. The correct position is between 5.5 and 6 cm from the external ostium of the cervix. Then, a very small amount of culture media is released containing the embryo. In total, up to 10 microliters of media are released into the uterine cavity. Then the gynecologist waits until the embryologist has checked that the embryos have been released into the uterine cavity. The speculum is then removed and uh, with the ultrasound I check the position of the culture media drop containing the embryo. As you can see it is perfectly in uh, the middle of the uterine cavity. And now, let's hope that the embryo will implant.